Hi, I'm Shankar Others, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look inside the Macintosh, and specifically in this episode, we're taking a look at the hard drive. Now, there's two different types of towers that you'll see, G5 and Intel towers, and they have slightly different configurations. With the old G5 towers, the drives are located in the top corner near the back, and there's spots for two different drives. Your machine may have one or two installed already. To get access to the drives, you flip up the two tabs that hold the drives in place. Then remove the two cables connecting each drive, one for power and one for data. The drive on the bottom should slide directly out. If you have a drive on the top, you'll need to remove the drive on the bottom first, then it'll slide out, then down, and then out again. Each of the drives slides in and out of the case using little rubber bumpers. If you only have a single drive in your system and you want to put a second drive in and you're looking for the rubber bumpers, there's typically four extras included in the case attached to this panel. To put the drives back in, if you have two drives, First of all, put in the top drive. You do that by sliding the drive into the second groove from the bottom, which will push up into the top, swing the drive up, and then push it in the rest of the way using the groove in the top. Then slide the lower drive back in, reattach the data and power cables, and re-engage the release tabs to keep the drives back in place. On the newer Intel towers, each of the drives is attached to the system using numbered sleds that pull straight out of the system. No cables are required for these. To pull one of the drives out, grab the edge of the sled and pull straight out carefully. Once you have the sled out of the system, you'll notice that each drive is attached to the sled using four screws that come pre-attached to the sleds. These shouldn't come out at all. To get the drive off the sled, turn the screws counterclockwise and eventually they'll disengage from the drive. To put a new drive in, take the sled and align the screws on it with the holes on the bottom of the drive. Make sure that the serial ATA drive connectors are pointed away from the sled. Secure the screws down all the way and then slide the sled back into the tower until you feel the drive connectors engage with the motherboard. If the sled isn't going in all the way, make sure that the lever on the back of the machine is actually up because if it's not up, the sleds won't come out or they won't go back in. That's a look at how to add a hard drive to the Mac towers. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series where we take a look at how to swap out some of the other components as well as give you an overview of the Mac towers. The series also has a quick overview of the iMac.